Hey guys, this is Woody, the Unexceptional Gamer, doing a dual commentary with Dirk. Dirk, can I say hello? Hey guys. All right. So we have a game of Domination on Invasion. I watched this game in advance, and uh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Do you, do you have a hard time getting games like this, or did... Uh, obviously, you don't get games this good all the time. How long did it take you to get this? Um, this is a, this was actually kind of an interesting game. I had been uh, trying to play some Search and Destroy um, this night, and it was back when I had just started trying to play Search and expand what game types I played, and I was really having trouble in Search, so I, I kept dying, you know, right off the spawn because I was playing way too aggressive, and uh, I sort of got bored. Up. Yeah, and I sort <laughs> I sort of got bored and. Um, I was like, oh, you know what? I'll, I'll just let me just hop in some. Uh, I think this is ground war. I'm in. Yeah, I said, oh, why don't I hop in some ground war? Throw on the nuke, and maybe I can relieve my stresses from uh, dying all the time in search. And uh, I actually uh, popped in this game and decided to go for the nuke. And once I got uh, the nuke, I was like, or uh, as I started to get uh, my kill streak growing, I went, oh, maybe I can go for two two uh, nukes because I was really destroying these kids, um, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Yeah. And, yeah, okay. and uh, you'll actually see at the end um, end of the game, I think I get some sort of a challenge for like my second nuke I've ever called in. Because I I think I've gone for the nuke maybe three or four times. I got it once when uh, the game you know first came out and there was all this hysteria over the tactical nuke. And then I think this was my second uh, nuke I've ever gotten. Ah, so you, you just don't go for nukes all that often. Because it looks like you could get them if you wanted them. Yeah, um, I, I, yeah, I usually don't go for them. I usually use, uh, either, either like non lethal kill streaks for, or like low powered, like search. Um, if I'm playing search or free for all, I'll use like UAV and, um, you know, predator and counter UAV. And then, you know, also the 579, which is like the standard, you know, works for, for pretty much everything. Yep. I run 579 if I'm trying to get a YouTube video, because it gets me a fair amount of kills. And uh, if I'm trying to win the game, if we manage to run across someone in the lobby who uh, you know, who play, plays well together and can give us a good challenge, then I switch to the lower stuff. You know, we like to have UAVs and counter UAVs up all the time because it's just it's hard to play against a team that has a constant UAV. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've actually I I, uh, I tend to I, I sometimes I play. Um, like regular guns like this, but I also do a lot of sniping um, on my channel. So I have, you know, like I'm not quick scoping in in the uh, absolute, you know, blindness that you know the way uh, Small Beans and Moody Sweet and all of them do it because they're you know amazing at, w at what they do. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, I do play somewhat aggressive in uh, free for alls with the sniper, and in there I I always use UAV and counter UAV because. Having counter UAV when you're using the sniper is awesome in free for all because no one knows where you are, um, and with the sniper it's a big problem because it's unsilenced and if you do put the silencer on it's just terrible. So yeah, yeah. The, the snipers are punished by silencers. It seems more so than the other weapons. You, know, you, you almost have to hit a headshot to get your, your kills. Neck up on a lot of them. So. Yeah, it really sort of yeah, it just kills kills the effectiveness of them. Especially in something like the uh, the intervention or the Barrett, where well, actually you can auto, you know, semi-auto fire the Barrett. But in something like that, that has a lot of recoil, you're not gonna, you know, get one shot on them and then you know take two seconds and get another shot on them. It's not, you know, it's usually most of the time you're, it's not gonna be that simple. So uh, yeah, it really ruins those because it, if especially when it takes two shots. So you said you were using uh, search to expand the game types that you play. Which, which yeah. game types do you call home? Um, I'd say domination, domination, um, for regular guns, and then uh, f I also do a lot of free for all. I I, I started off with pretty much domination exclusively because I played that a lot on COD Four, um, and then when I started, you know, getting into sniping, um, yeah, when I started getting into sniping, I started playing a lot of free for all just because the way the way um like like the amount of traffic that you get in free for all it tends to be you can you know you can reset your sights and reload and you you get enough time to sort of regroup or yeah re I guess regroup yourself after getting a kill with the sniper and quick scoping mm -hmm. um in free for all where in domination you're kind of out of luck um if you run into a group of 3 people um with the sniper so yeah I, I play I'd definitely say I call domination and free for all uh quote unquote home good deal you play a lot of ground war domination, or do you like six v six? 
Um, yeah, I mainly stick with 6v6. I, I think I only go, I only went in ground war for this just because I was going for the nuke and, <laughs> you know, the UMP just destroys and more, more people equals, uh, more kills, so. Yeah, it, it would have been hard to do this. Sometimes, I play Team Tac a lot, and, um, you know, the, the standard that some of the other t YouTube guys set in terms of how many kills equals a good game is really hard to hit when the other team has four people and, you know, sometimes they're down to three when, when they quit. And, uh, you know, go ahead and get 70 kills when there's three people on the other team. Good luck with that. Yeah, um, in, yeah, in Team Tactical, I find if you, if you start to dominate a team, um, not in the sense of capturing all three flags, but just, uh, you know, you're clearly beating them and spawn trapping them. I feel like people in Team Tactical tend to be a lot more, uh, you know, they, they back out a lot quicker. So they're, you end up, you know, playing t uh, four versus twos, and then, yeah, you're really not going to be able to get many kills. Yeah, they're quick to quit over there. And uh, Cap the Flag especially. Man, something about Cap the Flag. You get up 5-0 on a team, and they're gone. They're just done playing. It doesn't necessarily translate the same way. In Domination, you can be up 175 to 100, and you know you're going to win. That game is virtually over. But they stick around and take their loss in Domination more than they do in Cap the Flag. Yeah, I think, I mean, I'd say in part, uh, in part to that is, you know, the spawn delay. People just hate the spawn delay. And, uh, I bet people probably feel like, you know, they spawn, die, wait 10 seconds, spawn, die, wait 10 seconds, and <laughs> they get sort of fed up and back out. It gets to be too much for them when it's lopsided. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. So, you're on the PS3. When do the resurgence packs come out for them? Is it, what, about two more weeks? Um, I read on Twitter the other day, uh, Robert Bowling, he said, uh, July 7th. So uh, we have a little over a month from when uh, you guys on Xbox got it. Yeah, that's consistent with the last map pack, too. Yeah, I guess uh, Microsoft paid him a whole bunch of money. And <laughs> so they, uh, you know, release it a month early, which I don't, I don't, I'm not too happy about that. Not, not just because, you know, I get the map pack a month later, just on principle. I don't think that's, you know, I mean, obviously it's not fair, it's competition, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm torn on that issue. Like, I, I've thought through both sides of it. Like, on one hand, you know, Microsoft gets it early because they paid that money. And, you know, like, should the Microsoft subscribers get something? Because they pay for it, right? You know, they, uh, they pay $50 a year for your, your annual Xbox Live membership. And, uh, and this is one of the privileges. So is it unfair? You know, to, and then on the other hand, you know, it, it just really stinks to be on the PS3 and not have those maps yet. So... Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I absolutely, I love how the PS3 is uh, free, and it's just one more less, it's one less thing that you have to worry about, you know, re-upping and subscriptions and whatnot. Yeah. However, I do think, um, you know, you do get a lot of features on the um, on the Xbox, just in this so social network kind of way, or mm -hmm. kind of idea, that uh, I guess you could say are worth paying. But I, I actually used to play on Xbox, um, I got my start in, uh, you know, uh, FPS is on COD 4 on the Xbox. And I think I went through three in about two months, and they all consecutively broke within about oh, two weeks of when I got it sent back. And I just said, you know, I've had enough. I'll, I'll go get a PS3. That really stinks. You know, I've been... It's un I have an uncommon experience. For one, my Xbox runs cooler than my PS3 does. Now that I'm in the man cave and I've got this little room, I can't leave the PS3 on all the time because it warms up the room, and the Xbox doesn't. The Xbox, you know, I know everyone knows how hot they run, but the one in my room, it doesn't run hot. It's cool to the touch. It, it, it's uh, it's cooler than my PS3. But hey, you know what I wanted to ask you? I um, you know, I have subs that come to me all the time because I try to be helpful on my channel and say that they're not playing well. What tips would you give somebody? How do you get a better KD? How do you win games? How would you answer it if someone came to you and said, you know what, I'm struggling, I, I've been away for a few weeks or whatever, and uh, give me some tips to uh, play better? Use the UMP. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> um, no, um, I mean, definitely definitely uh, look around to figure out what what weapons um, you're best with. Um, I, I don't use the UMP all the, all the time. Um, I use it when I'm, you know, I feel like I'm getting, you know, like I need that extra boost from, uh, oh, way, a really power, overpowered weapon. And not, not to say that came out wrong. Uh, you know, a very powerful weapon like the UMP. So definitely use weapons that you feel comfortable with. Um, 
and just f- learn learn areas on the map where you can push forward and you think you have an advantage. And that sort of goes along with what you say. You say um, that you know control the engagement and don't don't get in a fair fight. You always want the advantage. Yeah. And definitely use use the your map um, and the surroundings to your advantage. Like if you saw on that map um, or in that game, um, I would push up to their spawn, get a few kills, back off behind some you know cover. Maybe I think that tank and like that wall. Uh, reload, get my bearings again, rush back in, get another three kills, and then sort of back away. So I think when you're when you're trying to do spawn trapping like that and trying to pick up a ton of kills, that's a good tactic. You know, push push forward, get a couple kills, and back off. Because if you stay in the same place while you're in their spawn, they're gonna they're gonna find where you are and uh, you know come up behind you and that's, that's can't good exactly advice. Handle. So we need to close this. I think we're hitting up on eleven minutes. But uh, good game, man. Thanks for coming on the channel. Thank you very much, Woody. See you later.